Good evening and welcome to OTV's coverage of Dragon Soccer. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, bringing you live soccer action here at Dragon Stadium. The Falcons of Groves are coming in to take on your first place Dragons in the OA White Division, sitting at 5-1-1 one, one overall. Groves comes in at 4-2-1. And, and this is going to be a battle for the top of the OA White Division. Dragons defense is stellar with two capable goaltenders who share duties in uh, Zale and Vargas. More to come as we get ready for kickoff here on TV's coverage of soccer continues after this. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. About ready for kickoff here at Dragon Stadium. Dragons and the Falcons ready to go under the lights. As we mentioned, the Dragons are on a roll in 2025. Uh, just really doing well. Coming off a 2-0 loss, though, against uh, Athens. And they're looking back to getting the winning ways. And don't forget, Community Media Day is coming up here at ONTV. TV. Join us on the 21st of October to celebrate at our open house from 5 to 8 p.m. Saturn Donuts will be served. Check out what Community Media is all about here in Lake Orion. Take a tour of our studio and maybe record a fun little message in front of the green screen. See our podcast studios. Community Media Day, October 21st at ONTV. As mentioned, Athens, the first loss of the season uh, for the Dragons here in 2024. And they're looking to make a statement tonight to secure their spot at the top of the OAA White Division. But Groves is also looking very strong this year. And they're coming off a 3-0 shutout of Avondale. And their Falcons are looking to build on that momentum. And they're capable of knocking the Dragons down a peg here with their offensive output. They also have a solid defense. So two good defenses and timely scoring by both squads here are going to make for a tight match. Um, we feel goal scoring might be at a premium and uh, usually in those cases what we look at is first goal is going to set the tone for this match so each team wants to get on the board first just to just to to tell the other the other team that hey we're here and you better be on your toes nice feed up this near side and number 10 that is uh Jekyll out of play Early stages of this first half here. Beautiful night for soccer. It is super comfy out here. No wind, sun setting behind us. Great atmosphere for soccer. Ooh, nice feet out front. And uh, number eight for Lake Orion. That's Negri. Again, Negri with the ball. He thought about it. But a good defense by the Falcons to turn that one away. Something we've, we've seen over the last couple years is a nice feed up that far right side. Dragons nice cut inside. Good footwork by number 24. And a battle, and it goes out of play. 24. Of course, not on the roster here. <laughs> Always happens. Moving guys up from JV or down or adding a, a player late in the, uh, the season. Or a jersey change. So uh, we have a 23 and a 25. No 24 listed here for Lake Orange, so we'll do our best. Uh, but a good defensive stand by the Falcons there to turn that one away. Ball goes across the, uh, the end line. Dragons jump on that early, and another attack underway. Nice high arcing feed into the 18. And out of play, goal kick coming. Dragons over the last couple of years that we mentioned is uh, they've been doing a really nice job of concentrating 
on uh, set pieces as a challenge there by number 19. Nicely done by Red Zip. Set pieces, corner kicks. Very dangerous are the Lake Orion Dragons. Nice feed inside at 22. For Linden. For Linden and uh, Red Zip teaming up there for a one two punch, but turned away by the Falcons. The captains for the Falcons are Callum Wiggins and Luca Mallow. And let's take a peek here. I do not see a mark for their goalkeeper, but usually that's uh, someone sporting the number zero. So Dragons get back on defense. And if we're gonna guess, I'd say it's Sam Moyer, listed as a freshman, really. Freshman netminder on varsity here in the OA White Division. Quite an accomplishment for the first year player. Foul called by number on uh, number nine. That is Leo Urich, sophomore. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. Good communication out there by the Dragons asking for a switch of the field and it works. And they're on the move on the far right side. Trying to shoot it, and far right. Good quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. That is the first of the game for Lake Orion. And I think that was Nico uh, Lasso de la Vega Sosa on that feed. Nicely, in, nice individual effort. We got a handball here for, or on the Falcons, and uh, Groves is back on their heels just a little bit as the Dragons do the free kick here and they get it underway quickly. Nice feed into the box. Ooh, just missed the header. Still alive off the post. Oh my word. Nicely done. Nico looked like he had something there. Almost got it in, but what a feed by number 10, Jekyll. Will Jekyll. Tap that one. A nice feed on that far post tapped. Off the uh, the right upright, mm, my goodness. Another quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Groves is back on their heels here. Dragons offense coming to play tonight. Good chance, nice steal. Nico again, number 20, all over the place. Trying to clear it out, or the Falcons can't do it as Negri does a nice job of slowing that down. Negri goes to the turf. Wiggins with the ball going middle, trying to find the open player. Good defense. Solid D by Jekyll. Good feed up to Nico, but just out of reach. Nicely done. Brinks, number 23 for the Falcons, trying to get something going here, trying to, good pressure here on this Falcon defense by the Dragons. It's the first time, the first game we've seen where they really push that uh, def defense way up the line and really making those, uh, really making the Falcons work to get it out of their end and deflect it out. Throw in coming here for Lake Orion, I think number six, uh, Nico Marlett with the honors from the side there at 33-37 left in this first half. Throw in is good, bouncing around there, still alive in the box. Coming out, tap over far post and a near header just missed. Jack for Linden was there. Number 22 couldn't finish on the header. We've seen a couple goals uh, uh, tallied by these Dragons this year via the skull. And um, they really take advantage uh, of their athleticism. This year it seems like they, they're a bit more athletic than they have been in the past. Size and speed and uh, really, really accurate uh, passes and feeds into the box. Nicely... Um, Nicely executed all season long, as we've seen here on ONTV's coverage of our city soccer. 
Again, the challenge of trying to get that out. Nice run down by 12 for Lake Orion. That is Kapler. Kapler still challenging out there. And a nice steal. Just having a hard time out there. It looks like three Lake Orion jerseys to the ball almost every time. They are challenging. And they're forcing those errors. Let's see the makeup of this Falcon squad. They have a mixture of seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Nice balance of players throughout the age groups. And here Lake Orion is loaded with seniors and juniors. One lone sophomore, that's Hudson Case. Experienced Dragon squad here. And it's showing good, uh, good execution, good energy early on in this match. Dragons and Falcons battling for the top of the OAA White Division. Dragons sit all alone, undefeated at the top of the OAA White. Groves is looking to knock down the Dragons and get up there at the top two to share that top spot. And a foul called on uh, Birmingham Grove. So a free kick coming here for Lake Orion. Looks like Farmer will have the uh, honors on the free kick. As Gaten, number 25, uh, sets up to his uh, left, excuse me. And we can see uh, Guys getting ready here. Not sure what the delay is. Time has stopped at 31-31. Oh, because the injury. Injury timeout. Player came off the field. Here we go. They dropped it. They get possession. Oh, nice feed up that middle. Oh, wow. Good stop by number two to save that goal. Luca, Luca Malo, one of the captains, senior captains. 24 against, uh, making his presence felt, and I wish I had a name on a roster. Another, that was a fabulous pass up the middle and a great run. Good patience, good speed. Dragons really pressing. Corner kick first of the night. For Linden, almost had it, but it went just a bit high. Nice turn by 22 for Linden. Coming inside, just off the side of the net. Very close. Dragons, this is, this is the most active I've seen the Dragons offense all season. Gross makes a substitution. Number 22 checks in for the Falcons. That is uh, Landon Halperin. Dragons intercept that goal kick at the midfield. Dragons on the move. Good touch by Lake Warren, sent out uh, William Kapler. Nicely done by number 12 to get that one moving. And uh, Dragon's quick passing too and great positioning is uh, really pressuring this Falcon D as Farmer steps up to, with the throw in here. Great setting here at uh, Dragon Stadium. The colors are starting to change. Sunset here, just a beautiful night. At the midway point of this 2024 season, header on goal, but oh my word, still alive. Oh, what a save. Host of Dragons doing a number down there. Nico Lasso de la Vega Sosa down there, almost tallied one. Number one in net, Scott Thiel is the netminder, Thiel. Dragons again on the attack. My word. For Linden. Trying to do something left foot. Chip on. Wide open on that right side. Can he do it? Out of the 18. Coming back in. For Linden trying to head her over to number 20. I mean, this is uh, Sosa. I mean, Two on one, Nico trying to do it. Kicked out of bounds. That will be a corner kick, second of the night. Dragons dominating this first, what, 11.30 of this, or uh, 11 minutes, 30 seconds of this first half. Ten on the free kick, that's Jekyll. Hands up, ready to go. 
Right foot lob in, beauty. Cleared out by number 16 for the Falcons. Oh my, Ethan Thomas, the sophomore. And then dumped to the turf. I believe that was Thomas. Free kick coming here after the foul. Good action early. The Dragon faithful have to be happy with this output. Dragons really, really energetic. Long homestand too. I think they have five home games and one more after this. And then they're on the road. They have Rochester on the 23rd after this match. Oh, dangerous spot over there by Wiggins. Nice stop by uh, the Dragons. I think that's number nine. That's Kapitsky. Oh, nice inside move, still alive. I gotta have a name for number 24, driving me crazy. Drop down, nicely done. Good attack by number 19. 24 combo, that's red zip, number 19. Fifth quality scoring chance for Lake Orion here. Just adding them up. We haven't even had a shot on goal for the Falcons just yet in this match. I want to thank you for tuning in to ONTV's coverage of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Give us a call at 248-393-1060 or visit our website at orionontv.org for more information about Dragon Sports and how you can take part in uh, televising these games with us. Dragons going long, really pressing that backline defense as uh, Thiel sends that one down range. Nice left, left footed lob up there. Nice turn, number 19, Reds up. Reds up, good feed. These guys are in tune. You can totally tell. Jeek with the ball, saves it. Look for that right foot. Oh, it gets around, no call. They're saying it was all ball. Dragon Faithful looking for a foul just outside the 18, no call. Play continues. Wiggins, nice turn by Wiggins, one of the captains on this Falcon squad. Coming near side to 25. Gaten checks up back to Farmer. Dragons looking to reset this offense. Solid defense here for Lake Orion all season long. They don't give up more than, what, two goals a game on average. It might be even lower than that. i got to take a peek. Three to two, one goal. How many goals all season? One, two, three, four, five, seven goals all season. Dragons have allowed only seven goals all season. Subs being made. This half is flying by quick. Good action. Especially if you're a Dragon fan, you have to be pleased with what's going on here. Aaron elbow to the face, number nine. Who is that? He's uh, a little bit in pain. That is uh, Ulrich. Throws on the move, Wiggins trying to tap it inside. No one there, good defensive uh, pressure. Dragons trying to split the defense and get it out of the end. Good job by number 23 for the Falcons. Brinks, Dragons steal it. Set up by number six, Marlett. Gaten, long ball down the middle. We saw this earlier. Just a bit high, but still, there's 24. Nice pullback behind the back. Oh, he's one-on-one -on -one action. Long shot, score! Of course, number 24 gets the goal. <laughs> Put him up. I have no name at 24. What are the irony? 24. 24 left in the first half. What a goal. Found the opening and shot it early. Oh, excuse me, 24-34. <laughs> Dragons on the board. Nicely done. And that's the same play we saw early on, maybe the first three minutes of this game. They went right down the middle. And that, there you go, 24, Fernando Bartholomew with the goal. Bartholomew. All right. Dragons back on, let's go. One, nothing, what do we say at the top of this uh, telecast? First goal is gonna say a whole heck of a lot about this, uh, this match. Dragons again at it. 
Six quality scoring chances, one goal. Nicely done. Trying to feed that one in. Fal Falcon still trying to manufacture some defense. It's just having a hard time. Bartholomew again, he wants another one. He's in the middle being a pest. Negri trying to do something as well. Austin Negri, number eight, being a pest out there as well. Dragons looking good. And in a good spot here at 23-25 on the goal by Bartholomew. Falcons trying to get something going. That was deflected down. Looked like a handball. No call. Play continues. Falcon faithful can hear them cheering on their squad. Great road presence here by the Falcon faithful. Ooh, nice feed up that middle. Feeds it in the middle. Nicely done. Incidental contact in the box and just wide right. Quality scoring chance for the Falcons. They can score. Nicely done by uh, Groves. And wholesale changes here for Lake Orion. Rarely see this. That last rush by Groves was uh, their best chance of the day, set up by Wiggins and a nice tap near side. I think that was to 22, Halprin. And can't forget number nine, he was in the mix too. That was Ulrich. Dragons have it though. After the shot wide right, goal kick and then trying to get something up. Falcons are energized, putting that pressure on the the ball handlers of the green and white. Dragons have it, nice footwork. Solid footwork, good spacing, nice individual effort by 13. Who's 13? That's Case, Hudson Case, gotta give him props for that one, nicely done. Number 19 with it on the trigger. Rigo coming near side and a chop switching field. Nice step in by number two for the Falcons. That's Malo to break up that uh, scoring attack. See hands pointing to Dragon Ball, and it is Jack Janzarek with the throw in from the side. You can see the action on the Dragon bench there. They are energized and ready to go. Dragons again coming near side, or uh, on that far side. Number two, that is Cather. Setting that one up and out of play. 12 for Lake Orion, Kapler, Willie, uh, Will Kapler trying to keep that one in, couldn't do it. Alex Cather set that one up, wearing the number two jersey, and he is in pursuit. Dragons step up, good defense. Nothing easy for the Falcons tonight, that is for sure. Another good tackle there to get that ball in the steal. Just a bit far. For the streaking number nine, said his name again, Leo Urich. Sophomore has size and speed. Out of play, throw in coming for number four. Let's see who that is, that's uh, Lamb. Wiggins trying to get that one with the head or out of bounds, where they say drag and ball. Whoo, pack stands as you can see here. Also have a live stream going on to my Right. A lot of interest in Dragon soccer this year as they are looking real good. Dragon soccer can compete with anybody in the OA Red, White, um, anyone in D1 for that matter. Looking good. 27 feeds that one out of the defensive end. That is Janzarek. Coming into the middle. 16 for uh, it's Ethan Thomas trying to get something set up. And they're going to call a foul on Lake Orion's number three, Saldana. Free kick coming at 19, uh, 18 in the first half. Landon Halperin, number 22, looks like he's going to have honors as the wall is set up here by our referee. 
They step this off nowadays to make sure that everybody's in the right position. I like this. No, uh, no question that that's where you're supposed to be. Good to go. I think number five. Don't have five on the list. There he is. Jones. Oh, in the box. And just. Just with number 16. You can tell Ethan Thomas, he was in position, ready to go, and the sophomore could not finish. Quality scoring chance number two for the Falcons. They're capable. They can score. Let's take a peek at some information about Groves. Dragons have it here, trying to get that offensive rush going at 18-14. Groves doesn't really put in a lot of goals. How many have they scored? One, two. Thirteen goals scored all season long by Groves so far. And the Dragons have only allowed seven goals all season. All right, another foul, another setup here for number five. Ian Jones, a senior, with the honors on the free kick. See what happens here. Oh, change their mind. Tap and direct, I guess. Chuck high into the box. Didn't quite hit the 18. Looking to turn on it, they do. Smart play by number four. Number four is Landon Lamb for the Falcons. Dragons trying to corral it. Good pressure put in. Wiggins trying to turn, can't do it. The Dragons clear it. Good play by number 11. I don't have, oh, there he is, Luke Wilson. Nice turn by Wilson. Again, we saw a wholesale change of the, uh, the starting lineup out. We don't usually see that from Coach Wise. Usually he spot checks and spot uh, subs as the first half goes, but you can see the trust he has in his uh, squad that uh, even your, your uh, second, uh, second lines can compete at a very high level. There's Wiggins near side, dangerous spot for number 11. He's more than capable. The captain of the Falcons sets up left foot, score! Heck of an answer by Groves as they level this match at 16-21 by Wiggins. Captain for this squad, looking up, nice individual, keeping it alive, finding space, and he has time and frame of mind to go left foot, far post, low. 16-21, Colin Wiggins, a senior, showing his leadership and why he has the captaincy on this squad for 2024. And just like that, this match is level at one. Great individual effort, good play. Exploiting the center of that Dragon defense and finding an open and the, the, being, uh, he looked like a natural left footer there. Ball goes out of play, will be throwing here for uh, the Falcons. Three quality scoring chances, one goal for Groves. Six quality scoring chances, one goal for Lake Orion. Uh, Orion also has two corner kicks. No corner kicks for Groves as of yet. Foul called, free kick coming. Matt Toffolo will have the honors here. Dragons are very dangerous in this position here. You can, we saw it already, they can drop this thing right in the box. Nice serve in, let's see what happens. Trying to scoop it in, get it organized. Is number three, Saldana. Coming back to number two. Dragons coming near side. Again, oh, right idea. Just not on frame, out of play by number 15, Matt uh, Tafolo. But yeah, we gotta give uh, Alex uh, Cather Props for getting that one set up. Dragons are very aware where their teammates are. Good spacing. 
This team looks like a well-oiled machine out there. There he is again. Alex trying to get it going. Number 11 for Lake Orion trying to set it up. Wilson coming near side. Ball is still alive. So they're going back and forth here trying to find opening in the middle. And Groves still alive. Cleared out by Thiel. Boy, that had the feeling of just uh, bend but don't break defense by the Falcons. Wiggins pumping it near uh, center of the field. Number 21 uh, for Lake Orion. I don't see 21 on here. Oh, there he is, Jasper Auer to slow that one down. The senior forward for Lake Orion. Nice ball in. One green jersey, three white jerseys, and it comes to the green. Ooh, nice job by Kopitsky. Trickles in to the box and tallied, uh, got, uh, scooped up by Scott Thiel. Senior netminder for the Falcons. Nice drop in the box by number 21, Hour, Making his presence felt out there after the sub. Time continues to roll. We're approaching 13.30 left in the first half. 1-1 one, one is your score. Battle for the top of the OAA on the line. Foul called, easy call. OAA uh, white division on the line. Dragons come in undefeated in league play. And Groves looking to uh, join the Dragons at the top of this. Uh, you can tell this is a, a battle for uh, supremacy in the white. Looked like Wiggins had a couple hands on him. No call. Play continues. Dragons uh, defer to the Falcons to get that uh, loose ball. Ian Jones brings it near side. And the errant pass goes out of play. Throw in coming for the green and white. Nice header in and just pushing it deep into the offensive zone for, for Lake Orion. Ooh, miss hit by Thiel. Three green jerseys there. Dragons turn on it, trying to move it. Handball just deflected up. That's a tough one. Andrew uh, Heitman was in position. It just deflected up, hit him in the hand. Easy call. Shuts down that offensive drive. But oh, what a footwork uh, display there by number five for Lake Orion. Beauty. I think that's number five. Hard to see sometimes on the jerseys. Oh, did he keep it in? He did. Nicely done by number two, uh, Cather. From the near side, wide open. Spin, chip on, deflected down. Nicely done by number 11. That is Wilson. Wilson is everywhere. And it looks like it was deflected out by Lake Warren. I thought another corner was coming. It looked like it was hit, but a goal kick for the Groves. Again, the pressure on the Falcons is evident. Throw in coming for the green and white. This is the most active I've seen Lake Orion on the offensive end and in some time. And I would love to get another tally here to make it 2-1 as uh, the half is only 10 minutes away, or 11, 12 away, excuse me. Out of play, ill-advised high kick there. It was at 15, Toffolo. Just trying to clear it, but Just watching, here we go. Dragon D on display here. Nice uh, patient three-man triangle set up here and a nice give, give and go. R on the run, see if he's got a left foot on him. He's gonna try to cut it in. Good defense to get back in time for cover. Left foot screamer across the turf and oh, tough challenge. Drops the Dragons to the turf. That's Kapitsky. Hit him right in the shin guard. You can hear the smack up here. Falcons on the move on the near side. Oh, nice back behind the back pass over to Wiggins. Can't do anything with it. Still with it. Number nine trying to get one off. How many dribbles and cleared out by the Dragon defense. Shot to the face. Wiggins count the teeth. Time continues to roll here. Falcons renewed energy here in the offensive end. I like I say, offside on that, but oh my, who's number nine? I gotta give him props again. That's Leo Urich. 
he was in position. You got to shoot it. You don't need to walk in point blank. Put it on frame. I think they would have tallied one right there. It was Dragons defense were on their heels. And he decided to just one more, one more, one more, trying to get in the open. You could tell he wasn't comfortable with his left foot. Or he couldn't get enough mustard on, let's say, an outside, uh, outside foot uh, strike. And Dragons turn him away. Quality scoring chance for Groves. This stands at four. They're more than capable of hanging here with the Dragons. As evident by their record, 4-2-1 coming in and coming off a 3-0 uh, shutout of Avondale. They hand themselves well on the road to Groves. Ton of road games. One, two, three in a row. This is their fourth away game in as many games. And they have one loss, two wins, three wins. Wiggins again has the lone goal for Groves currently trying to stop it. His play across that end line will be a goal kick coming for Lake Orion. 8.30 left in this half. If you're just joining us, the Dragons got down the board at 24-34 by Bartholomew. And Wiggins got on at 16-21 for Groves to tie this match. Dragons trying to set up this offense once again. Trying to switch it, danger spot there, intercepted easily by the Falcons, number 16. That's Ethan Thomas, said his name quite a bit. Haven't seen a lot of subs by the Falcons tonight as we have with Lake Orion. Ran about the first half, first 20 minutes, um, 20 plus minutes of this first half, the Dragons starters were looking really good and then wholesale changes after that. And they've allowed one goal for the Falcons but still holding strong here. Nice passing and good teamwork. Ooh, good idea, almost made it through. As Gross try to settle this one down, nice uh, set up by number 11, that is uh, Sorry, I thought it was Wiggins, but he's near side. All right, turning around, here we go. Long feed in by number four, that's Lamb. Oh, good opportunity. Dragon defense stands strong and just stood there. And uh, yeah, sometimes defense means just, hey, don't move. Matt Toffolo, number 15, knows this. He's a senior, experienced defender. Toffolo sends it down range, nicely done. Challenge and deflected back into the offensive end for Lake Orion. Good individual effort there by three, trying to make that happen. That is uh, Saldana. Dragons chase it down, settle it in. What I like about these Dragons, their head is always up, always looking downfield, trying to find the open man. Again, if you're joining us, uh, Lake Orion has two goaltenders, two quality goaltenders, and they'll play them. Brendan Zale and Santiago Vargas. Number zero and number one. Dragons on that right side. We saw good things on that right side. Oh, they got it in, tapped it into the box. Three white jerseys around the uh, offensive attacker for Lake Orion, still alive. Dangerous spot here. Dragons can be very dangerous in this area. Trying to split the D is number 11. Luke Wilson can't do it, but good defense. And no foul called on the contact as Wiggins is dumped to the turf. But good uh, individual effort by Luke Wilson trying to split that D. The senior midfielder was turned away by the Falcons defense. Approaching five minutes left in this first half, tied at one. Knew this was going to be a good matchup. Groves can score, but mainly both, both teams have solid defense. 
trying to run that one down, and he does. It's number two. Let's give some props to number two for the hustle. That's Mallow, one of the captains, senior captains on the squad. And ball goes across that end line. I do believe it is a goal kick for Lake Orion. Good hustle by 22, uh, Landon Halprin, senior. Running that one down, throw in, doesn't go across the end line, deflected out. So Wiggins with the throw in from the side. Number 11 with a lone goal for the Falcons tonight. Good throw, just, just better defense by the Dragons, really packed in there. Making the smart move and just clearing it. Nice far side, they're screaming offsides and they are right. Oh man, Braden Kapitsky's like, you gotta be kidding me. It looked, it looked okay, but um, when in doubt, he's gone and uh, the referee's gonna call off or, uh, offsides on that. And, it really depends, it's so offsides if you're not familiar with it, that the, the offensive attacker cannot be beyond the back line, uh, furthermost back defender. You have to stay level with the defender when the ball is kicked. Then you can move past the defender. If you're behind the defender when the ball is delivered, you're offside. All right, ball drops down, trying to get control of it. Dragons running it down. Dragons don't dwell on it, they move on. Andrew Heitnen, nice, number seven, battling out there, Heitnen with the ball. He's on the move with a lot of green in front of him, trying to feed it through to number three, can't do it. Saldana was in position, but Halperin just a bit, excuse me, Heitnen just a bit quick on that delivery. Had a couple more feet in front of him. Dragons with the throw in, Jenzerik. Nice throwing in the box. Dragons try to run it down, out of play. Goal kick coming. Well, so far both uh, goalkeepers have uh, done their job. Vargas for Lake Orion and Thiel for Groves. 22-24 left in this first half. Been a very quick half, very entertaining, back and forth. Solid defense by Groves, but re even better offense by Lake Orion. Groves even hit a post. Excuse me, Lake Orion hit a post on Groves early in this first half. They've had a couple chances. Six quality scoring chances. Two of those could have been gold. Nice individual footwork there, there by number four, Lamb. And a foul called on Lake Orion. Free kick coming. See who's going to do it. Is it uh, Pedro Softner? Oh, it's in the middle. So they move it over there. Danger spot. Let's see. 134 left. Interesting uh, minute and a half. Little 90 second action here. See what the Falcons can do. Dragons are packed deep in that defensive end. Looking to lob. Oh, trying to find Wiggins on the header. He's got height and he can jump and delivery was just a bit high. And a foul called outside the box. They're gonna call it on Birmingham Groves. Free kick coming for Lake Orion as we approach one minute to play. There's one minute remaining in the first half. Dragons coming near side, trying to set it up. Playing a little keep away. Finding the, finding their teammates. Nice passing for Lake Orion and good possession. I think time of possession, if you were to add it all up, I think it would favor the Dragons just based on that first 10 minutes of play. They were just really dominant in the offensive end. Wiggins trying to turn in the middle of the field and it's turned away by the Dragon D. Still alive, drain, danger, and easy save, but still a quality shot on goal. This game couldn't be more even. Five quality scoring chances for Groves, six for Lake Orion, two corners, and we're tied at one at the end of this first half of play. Dragons came into this match with a 2-0 loss at home against Athens on this long homestand, a five-game homestand, but here they're in a battle 
with Groves at the end of the first half. It's 1-1 on the goals by Wiggins and Bartholomew. We'll have more after this timeout. Second half is next. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. Beautiful night for soccer. Harvest moon, a full harvest moon hovering over uh, Dragon Stadium here. What a sight to see. Fall is coming and we're excited for that because you know what that means? Cider and donuts. I love my cider and donuts. But anyway, Ian Locke here uh, calling the soccer action, varsity soccer here at Dragon Stadium under the lights. We're in a the second half. Lake Orion versus Groves. Dragons come in 5-1-1 one, one on the season. Groves at 4-2-1. Dragons are undefeated in OAA white play. And Groves is looking to tie up uh, top of the OAA white division if they can knock off your hometown Dragons. Dragons offensive attack was stellar in the first 10 minutes of this match. This game could easily be 3-1, but hey, it's not, we're not at that one, so 40 minutes or 39, 26 left in this second half. Could we have a classic in the making between these two squads? Dragon Faithful would like a blowout. <laughs> but for us uh, casual watchers of soccer, we would love to have a, a nice match here as, uh, as is done again. The Dragons have swapped out uh, goaltenders Second half will be uh, under the care of Brendan Zale. And I like this rotation. You don't usually see it that much, but uh, having two quality goalkeepers is a luxury to have. Both are juniors here for Lake Orion. Nice crowd on hand, loaded with uh, Falcons faithful and Dragon faithful and the, s the side uh, fence on the Dragon side is filled with spectators. Dragon's trying to run that one down. Looking to turn. Bartholomew already has a goal tonight. Dragon's coming inside. Oh, nice chip on right foot. Deflected up, still alive. We've seen a lot of quality footwork. Looks like the starting lineup is back in for Lake Orion. Chip on far side and headed out. 22, nice delivery by Verlinden. Falcons trying to get it out of the area. Danger, danger. And what are they going to say? Foul on the Falcons. Whoa, just outside the box. Look at that. Inches. That was close. Um, I think he grabbed him around the waist or the jersey and they blew that whistle. Wall will be moved back. As you can see, setting it up. Dragons in a getting the first uh, opportunity to do some damage here in the second half. An opportune position. They got Bartholomew 19, Red Zips out there. 22 for Linden. Starters are out there. Nice delivery scream and just far. Far right off that uh, off that free kick. Still call that a quality scoring chance because you had an opportunity. Try to bend that in, upper 90. That's usually what the guys try to do. But uh, just a bit wide right. Linden hits that back in, still alive. Screamer by number 12, trying to get under control, but I think another toe is on that. Dragons 12, that's Kapler. Being a pest out there. Like Kapler's game. Oh, free ball in the middle, plenty of space. 
Farmer sets up his defensive position. Zale sends that one down range. Good hustle by Lake Orion to get back on defense. No Falcons in the range. Oh, there's Wiggins. Nice trying to go outside that right foot. And high and way wide out of play. Goal kick coming for Lake Orion. Wiggins scored his goal in the first half at 16-21. That was a left foot shot low across the turf, and he went lower right 90. And it was a butte. Angle was tough, and really uh, Vargas had no chance at it. Just needed a little bit of space. Ooh, nice pass. Nico coming near side, number 20, trying to chase that one down, but Dragons were staying on side and deflected out, throw in coming. Nico Sosa defers to Farmer, excuse me, 23. Yeah, it is Farmer. Farmer does a good job. He can really throw it in the box. Watch the distance on these throws. Perfect, nice little header in the open. Clear it out. Bartholomew, right choice. And deflected off number 10, and they're seeing a corner kick coming. 10, Softner, Pedro Softner, number 10 for the Falcons, got a toe on it. Third corner kick of the night for Lake Orient. Camera angles are tough here at Dragon Stadium for this right corner. We got fans in the way, cameras in the way, tripods in the way. We do the best to bring you the images the best we can here at Owen TV. Went far, Postal alive, still alive. Oh my word. Everybody was flat footed on that one and it looked like uh, the Dragons, uh, Joy Gaten had a chance at it. Another corner coming, two consecutive and yeah, I think that's uh, Will uh, Jekyll with the honors again. Here he comes, swinging that right foot. High, far post, punched out nicely by Thiel. And another a throw in coming for Lake Orion. Farmer up again, deep in the end there, 33-50. Key moment here for the Falcons, really uh, pressed on that defensive end. Big throw in for number 23, headed out by Wiggins. And uh, Farmer will just be content to set, wait, let it go out and move even further back. Defense is really compressed in the box in front of Thiel. Dragons maneuvering on that far post. Can't imagine getting there, deflected in, still alive. Oh, what a save by Thiel, deflected off the post. Farmer collects it in that right side, trying to get some space to maneuver, left foot. Trying to chop it in there, Dragon's still alive. Oh my word, what a scoring opportunity for Lake Orion. Farmer faints the big hit and uh, still alive. Dragon's mad scramble for the ball. Oh, deflected in a tough spot. Oh, what a shot. Asking for a handball. No call, looked like it hit him in the knee actually from our vantage point. What a wild. Exchange there as Halperin sends that far side. And Jekyll watches it out and he'll send it down range. My goodness. Back and forth we go. Just waiting for the Dragons to get a solid toe on a shot here. They've done everything but score so far in this second half. Early on too, only, only eight minutes in. Reds up with the throw in, number 19. Knows what he's doing. Dragon's content to go back and set up that offense. Going to go back to Zale. Coming near side to Farmer. Farmer, got to have trust your defenders to have good footwork and good discipline. Nicely done by number eight. You just got to watch. You can't get uh, Austin Negri, number eight. Good passing by the Dragons to keep it under control. Give away, Falcons trying to find the open. Wiggins, not too fancy, but it's just not going anywhere. Nutmeg there, sir, by number 22, tr still rolling. Halperin, danger out there, he's a good player. 
Bartholomew just weep, bobbing and weaving through traffic. Already has a goal in the first half at 24-34. Does 24, the lone goal for Lake Orion tonight. Good slide tackles by the Falcons to slow this offense down, but the Dragons are moving. And a save, still alive. Ball is alive. Trying to find something, my word. Screamer, bender, and a deflection in front of the net. Oh, Jesus, defense for the Falcons just want to clear it. And they do a collision, and a Dragon is down on the turf. My word, what a scramble in front of the net. Time has stopped at 30-49. Can't tell what he did. It looked like he knocked knees. Got him in the mouth. He's holding his mouth. Who is that, 20? Is it 23? Is that, that's not Farmer. Dragons doing a nice job. Let's do a game reset here. Uh, Dragons got on the board at 24-34. First goal of the night uh, by Bartholomew and Wiggins at 16-21. As uh, Andrew Dragon is up on his feet and moving towards the sideline. Got him in the lip. Hands get up. Tough sledding. Looks like he's got a little... Uh, Little bleeding there. There's a number 20, uh, Sosa. Sosa's had a nice game all over. These starting, starting uh, group here for Lake Orion has done a really nice job, really pressuring that Falcon defense. It's just a matter of time. You can, you feel that momentum on offense, and they are really pressuring this D as a sub comes in for Sosa. And uh, two subs for Groves as well. Shable, number 15 in and 16 Thomas for the Falcons. Farmer with the, number 23 with a throw in from the side. He's more than capable of dropping into the box. Let's see where he goes. Sets him up. Directing traffic. Nice throw in. Just waiting. Can't, can't clear it. Deflection off of the off of number twelve. That's uh, off his chest. Kapler was in possession, and another corner kick for here Lake Orion. That is fifth of the night. Here it goes. Let's see. Far, long, and strong header in the box. Alive. Whoa! Still alive. Miscommunication by the defense. Uh, Thiel thought the defender was going to knock it out, let it go. It was just sitting there like a meatball. Nobody on that back door. I guess it should be the front door to clean that one up for Lake Orion. Back door would have been that far post. My word, what an opportunity. Dragons again putting that pressure on. Good footwork, good ball uh, contact. Good touch. Close quarters passing by the green and white. Negri coming near, switching the field, coming back to Farmer. Farmer feeding up that middle, trying to find an opening. Nicely done, nice little tap. Step around, just pressure, pressure. Always that offensive pressure, long and strong and way, way downtown on that shot. So goal kick coming for the Falcons. For Linden, Bartholomew. Jekyll, number 10. I mean, these guys, it's just really playing well. Oh, near feed through that back end, but he had to check up. He would have been off sides on that pass. Good defensive positioning and awareness by the Lake Orion Dragons to keep that offensive attacker offside. Slowed him down. Dragons steal it, nicely done. Nice quick passing here. Jekyll with it, number 10. He's capable of dropping it in the box. Header in the middle. Trying to find Bartholomew. 22 at it. Just keep that pressure on for Linden. And a foul called on the Falcons. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. As you see the head referee pointing. Dragons are good at these set pieces as everybody moves into position. Oh, 
See what happens here. Good opportunity at 28 minutes left in this game to try to get something going on offense. The Falcon wall has been adjusted by the head referee. And here we go. Chico with the honors. Nice lob in a box. Header. Oh, my word. That was a plan all along to get it to Gaten, and he just didn't quite get the angle right, and he sends it across the end line. Goal kick coming for Thiel. Again, good crowd on hand. Watch this one. So far, it's a classic in the making. Bend, bend but don't break defense by, uh, by Groves. Keep him at, keeping them in this contest. Dragons have five corner kicks and have clearly been the aggressor on offense all night long. Farmer collects it in. Makes a decision to step over. Good height and strength by number 23. Chico in a battle down there. He can drop this in. Nice pass cross and just missed. Reds up in position with a bit of beauty. Had a header. Tenth quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. It's just a matter of time. The openings are there. They're finding their speed. They just have a step on the Falcons in the second half. And that's just enough to get past that back line defense. Nice set up by number 10. And, oh, Joey Gaten would like to have that one back. Just. Again, we saw this. This is replay of what just happened. Finding the open man, cutting inside. Give and go, nicely done. Good tap, no call. Wiggins said it was, it was incidental contact, no call. Play continues, coming near side. Just a dragger of a slow roll pass. And the Dragons intercept it. Farmer back to the netminder. He's got to clear that one out. And uh, Zale does the right thing and just sends it. Dragons on the move. Falcons just look like they're out of just a step or two out of position and trying to send that one and it's cleared off the face of a Falcon player. That hurts. This is about the time the Dragons scored in the first half. Nicely done by number eight. Austin Negri. Chico, oh, that's deflected. That's a dangerous spot. Oh, near header off the corner. Again, number 24. He's feeling it tonight. Bartholomew, that one of their, yeah, the header off the uh, off upper 90. That is ridiculous. Oh, danger, still alive. Oh, what a save. Ball is still alive out front. Jekyll trying to run that down. He's dumped to the turf. Foul call. You can hear the crowd saying incidental. Good sportsmanship. 15. Number 10 doing their thing. Call on number 15. That's Shable. All right. Great save by Thiel indeed to keep that one out. Two really good saves by the Falcon Netminder. And here we are. Look at this setup. Looks like they're gonna lob it far post, come in and crash the net, and that's out of play. It should be a corner kick for Lake Orion. Yep, corner kick again. A lot of action for number 10. Little Jekyll out there, that right foot of his is gonna be dead tired tonight with the, the amount of free kicks and corners he's had. Nice job lobbing these things in. He's very accurate, and he can pick a spot. The Dragons the strikers are down there. Ooh, nice inside move. Ball is still alive. Can he get it in? Score! <laughs> Number 19 with the tally. That is Red Zip. But got to give it up on the delivery in the box. Defenders miss and whiff. It goes all the way through, unmarked, and he reds it. Sends it home. 
23-33. Dragons up one in this contest. Wow. Great spacing, but again, the, the Falcon D just went for the header and just did not get them, and it just trickled the number 19 Reds up in the box and cleaned up and struck gold at the back of the net. Feel had no shot at that one. Classic case of unmarked in the box on a corner. And the Dragons again looking for more. Inside going left foot. Oh, what a strike! Dragons can feel it for Jack for Linden looking for more. Great strike, just a bit too strong. Thiel was flat footed, had no answer on that. He might have been able to punch it out if it was a little bit lower, but that thing had some velocity on it. Negri, number eight, trying to get something going here. Defense for Falcons setting up Lake Orion on another screamer. They are just peppering him on D. The looking for support when uh, the Falcon defense or offense looking for support or the defense looking for support, meaning passing back to um, their backline defenders to get something set up is not working right now. The Dragons are keeping their forwards way back in the offensive end, and any support is being challenged by, by several in green jerseys, and it's just going to – it's just not going to end well for the Falcons if they continue to up with that defensive uh, decision-making. 21-50 left in this contest. Dragons up 2-1. to one. Battle for the OAA White Division on the line here. Who wants first place? So far, the Dragons, oh, nice walk through. Coming near side, and that will be, I think, a corner. Nicely done by number 12 for Lake Horner. I, I think I've said everybody's number so far. Will Kapler nearly had one. And here's Farmer with a throw in, so 23 usually does the honors there. I think it's a, yeah, it's a throw in. Here he goes, he can get it there. Just like a corner kick. Oh, bicycle set up, strike deflected out. Two Lake Orion strikers, 13 there. Hudson Case felt it, deflected out. Another quality scoring chance. That is 15 for Lake Orion. Falcons are on their heels and they'll thank that foul just to slow the Crazy action. They got to be breathing hard. I haven't seen a lot of subs either. It's still the starters out there for the Falcons. Gross Faithful still here, cheering on the white jerseys. How is this game not uh, three to one? It's Dragons are just, they're due. Uh, it, Usually you get one, you're up 2-1, and you see the defense settle in, but the Falcons are really struggling to solve this offensive attack by Lake Orion. They just keep moving the ball, quick passing, very accurate passing, good decision-making, good possessions, keeping possession of the ball, no silly turnovers, unforced errors. Good feed by Groves, near side. Good delivery, just a bit offline. This is a good setup. Just need better execution in the box. Good individual effort there by the Falcons marching into the box. Here he goes. I see that number on his jersey, can't see it, and they clear it out. Lake Orion clears it out just to slow that attack down. Nice, that is the best offensive set we've seen for Groves in this second half. Subs for Groves. Three subs looking for fresh legs. Wiggins still out there. I think Mallow's still out there. The captains for Groves. Looks like they'll play the entire match as that one is out of play off of. 
Off of Birmingham grows. Dragons with a throw in. 18-42 left in this second half. Dragons really pressuring this defense, as we mentioned. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm your answer, Ian Locke. I'm afraid to say anything else because the Dragons keep attacking so quickly. Head on over to orientontv.org for more information about Owen TV's programming and more Dragon sports. Volleyball, soccer, football are uh, it's what's on the docket uh, this fall. Games are currently playing on Education Channel 22 on Comcast and Channel 99 on at and You can also watch ON TV programming on Apple TV, on Roku TV, and Amazon Fire. Just search Orion on TV in your channel lineup. Add it to your uh, your viewing uh, list, and you can see all these games, live programming, government meetings, and Dragon Sports. Nice D by Farmer. Knocks it out. Wiggins with a throw in at 17.36. See what they can do here. Offense is kind of staying back. They haven't made their mind what they're going to do here. Wiggins can't make a decision where he's going to throw it, and the Dragons are there. Chip out of the ball bouncing off elbows out there, and there's a shoulder. And we're going to say off of Groves. Dragons with a throw in. Subs coming in for Dragons, only three. 15's coming in, and 21. Tofalo, Matt Tofalo has a had a really nice game. He's in the game uh, match once again, and number 21, Auer. Jasper, he's had a really nice game too. He had a near, uh, near goal not too long ago, or at least a shot at one. Not wholesale changes on offense uh, as the Dragons did in the first half, just selective uh, substitutions and ball is out of play. Should be a throw in here for Groves, I believe. Pushing in the shoving and the elbows in the pushing. You see him out there. So far this has been a very clean game. Physical as every uh, OAA match is, as you would know. But a clean game and a near getaway. That ball looked like it was going out of bounds. <laughs> kind of slip on it. Everybody's saying it's out of play. There you go. Where's the linesman? My goodness. Uh, Joy Gaten, Sander going, this ball is out of play. No call. And he's looking for the positioning here. It was further up. But, yeah, that was out of play, and it kind of bounced back into on the field and saying Farmer is a good position there. Runs up another 10 yards. Why not? Oh, wide open in the box, handled by Thiel. Two to one. Dragons have been in this position a ton this year. One nothing win against Stony Creek. Four to one win against Wald Lake. 1-1 uh, tie against Stevenson. Their lone loss is against Seaholm, and that was a 4-1 loss um, on the road. Dragons are used to these tight matches. Oh, excuse me, that's a... Uh, here we go again. Dragons on the move. Low screamer, still alive. Can he clean it up? No. Very close. Number nine there. Kapitsky thought he had it. And a corner kick coming. Those scores I just read were uh, Groves. But yeah, the Dragons are used to these 2-1, or excuse me, 3-2 uh, games. I can't see that corner kick. There we go. It's a score! Huge goal. Number 12. I was, I was obstructed there by a hand. Ball flies out of the frame, but they were parked in the back. Back door is open again. Back post not defended. And Kapler. Kapler tallies it at 14-24. Two goal lead. 
What a shot, what a goal. Again, back post, that back door undefended, that back post, nobody on it. And Kapler was there just hanging around. Tapped it in with his foot. Wasn't even a spectacular header or a bicycle kick. It was just the old taparoo. Rolls in the back of the net. Dragons up. Two goals here in the second half. Falcons are on their heels. They're going to have to answer quick because this defense for Lake Orion will shut you down. And as mentioned before, again, Dragons on the offensive attack again. Just starting to dominate offensive play here. Stepping inside, lob on net, excuse me, into the box. A little too strong in that back post. He's, <laughs> she calls used to, Will is used to bombing them in from range and dropping them in like, uh, what do you say, dropping dimes into the box and he was a little too close, too much mustard and that one's out of play. Let's take a peek at the Dragon. So three to one so far here. Um, Dragons in two to one, three to two, five to one, two nothing, one to one, one zero. They're used to these two goal games, one goal games, and they have strong, I mean, to, to navigate through those tight games for wins, it, it just shows a maturity level in this team, and they are loaded with seniors, as we said, juniors and seniors. But uh, it really, gives you confidence going in that you go, no matter what, even if we're down one or it's a 1-1 one, one game, you know you have a chance no matter what. In the box, oh, near at her. Kapitsky again, he's thought he had one. That's the second time a strike by number nine just misses as some subs come in. All right, that's good. That's Nico uh, Sosa checks in. He left with an injury to his mouth or his lip, and uh, it's good to see him back in. He's all ready to go. He's a player that you don't want to have sitting on the bench too long. Dragons again putting that pressure on that Falcon defense. Ball checks up. Zale is there, and he sends it to midfield. Header. Dragons get it. Nice uh, finding the open man are the Dragons. Nice close out by the Falcon defense to send that one down range. Negri trying to keep that one close to the midfield line and Falcons are on the move, but nice pickpocket there by number nine. Kapitsky just really doing a number out there. Nicely done by number nine. Oh, a lot of room. Look at all the space. Plenty of space. Enough time. Just misses wide right. My goodness. The defense for, uh, we got Nagri and uh, 21 out there. Who is 21? I got to get him some props again. R. Keep tallying up the scoring, scoring chances. Just got to get out of frame, but at this point, they're ha having possession like this is just milking this clock. And it's tiring out this Falcon defense. Farmer with the ball trying to do a taparoo out of play. Should be a throw in for Lake Orion. Time continues to roll here in the second half. Mm. Kapitsi and Nagri out there doing a number on this defense, nicely done. Throwing again by Farmer. Sosa number 20 there on the right. Drifting in the middle is number nine. Kapitsky's had two shots on goal already, two near misses. Tap in, let's see what we got here. Good individual effort, Sosa. Cleared out by the Falcons. Dragons still have it. Nice inside, Nagri. Good team passing, good possessions. Gating over to Farmer, Farmer up this near side, trying to get something going, Sosa. Good pass to the middle, Nagri. 
Just keeping possession, finding the open man. Playing the way they're facing, he drops it up. Ooh, near header coming near side. Sosa. Trying to lob it in, nicely done. It has something on it and a tamperoo. Oh, that was almost a replay, that last goal in the back door. This time Thiel was there to shut it down, but a nice delivery by Nico. Running out of paper space here to write down the quality scoring chances. I mean, we're approaching 20. And uh, Falcons just trying to find something that I have no corner kicks earned for them yet. Six quality scoring chances. Dragons are eclipsing them almost two to one, or three to one even. Trying to get it set up. Here we go, Gaten with the ball, passing it out. Looking for the attack on that left, that far left side. Good slide tackle by the Falcons. Can't get it out though, Dragons near. Near break there on that far side. I want to thank you for tuning in to this telecast. We have other soccer matches currently airing and on video on demand at our website at orionontv.org. Or you can head over to our YouTube channel and look up Game of the Week. We have years of uh, Dragon games from soccer, volleyball, football, you name it, it's there. Dragons head on, still putting that pressure on. Deals there to gather it in. Good play by number two, Alex Cather. Putting that pressure on. Number two's done that when he was subbed in in the uh, first half as well. Really like this Dragon squad. They can beat some teams, that is for sure. And we're past the halfway mark. Uh, wholesale changes here for the Falcons. First time we've seen that. Halperin back in, number 22. We saw him earlier in this match. Solid player for the Falcons. Trying to set it up here. Just trying to get a solid possession. Settle that ball, can't settle it. Trying to dump it in the box. Farmer does it. And Dragons move that ball quickly up the field. Field near miss, he's out of position. Dragons have him, can't pull the trigger on the shot. Had an opportunity if he could just get a clean, clean shot because Thiel was way out of position outside the ninth or the 18. Near, near travesty there, or tragedy. I'm not sure what. Here we go. Tough inside, low post score. Dragons put this one, trying to put this one on ice. Again, Sosa near side, or nice centering pass over to Negri, and just a low, low roller. Nice goal by number eight in the Dragons. Good team passing. And Negri gets it at 6.30 to effectively put a cap on this game here. Falcons know this defense is too good. You're not going to get three unanswered on these guys. And what a goal to seal this one up. I know we got 6.20 to go, but everything says, I mean, the, the stat sheets are filled full of the Dragons' exploits tonight against the Falcons. Dragons are in the green, grows in the white. Falcon faithful still here cheering on their squad. And, Just trying to, uh, what we're seeing here with Lake Orion tonight is just experience. Talent and experience, the, everybody is in their position and you can see with the passing that the Dragons, if, you, if they receive the ball, they know where their teammate's going to be. They know where they're going to deliver the ball. It's not a question. Seasoned veterans out there, a lot of seniors, tons of juniors. And this is just, Repetition, repetition, right? That's what uh, nets you results like this, especially on the offensive side when the Dragons don't score a whole heck of a lot of goals. 
And uh, they take advantage and they exploit it when they can, but they know they can close that door on the other team. Taken down from behind, no call. Ball across the end line will be a goal kick here for Lake Orion. What a display today. Dragons came into this game a 2-0 uh, loss at home against Athens, who's a quality team in the red division. Again, this is the OA White. And good bounce back after that shutout loss against Troy Athens. Dragons will be on the road, I believe, next. After this one, oh, they'll have Rochester at home, and then they're on the road against uh, De La Salle, Clarkston, Oxford, and Avondale, and back home to close out the season on October 3rd against Adams. Adams, always a tough matchup, but a good uh, test for Lake Orion at the end of the season. We had a tight one for the first half and a third of the second as a 1-1 game. Dragons broke it open, two quick goals. Well, I should say two quick goals. Well, goals came at 14-24 and 6-30 left in this second half to put it away. Kapitsky, number nine, he's had his opportunities. He had two, two chances that He'd love to have another one on net. Dragons, nice chip on. Sosa coming back to Farmer. Farmer lines it up, a lot of space maneuver. He's dropping a little too strong in that back post, but that's what they were doing. They were attacking that left back post. Two goals, one on a corner, especially by Kapler, number 12 at 14-24. That really broke it open to get a two-goal lead and effect effectively sealed this W for Lake Orion. Just inside three minutes, we encourage you to come out to games here at Lake Orion High School, be it football or volleyball or soccer. Come on out and grab a, a, a frosty beverage at the concession stand or a hot dog. Um, all of the proceeds collected and earned and another shot just wide right. All the, the, the funds earned at the concession stands go to the Lake Orion High School Band Program. Helps fund their, uh, their program throughout the season. The award-winning state-ranked marching band and band program here at Lake Orion. Rich tradition and solid history of success. Led by... Uh, Mr. Steele. All right, Dragons trying to close this one out, just playing keep away at this point. Falcons are still uh, battling out there. But again, just a reminder, head on over to OrionOnTV.org for more programming options. Uh, our video on demand is updated weekly. And as the season rolls along, or this school year rolls along, ONTV will be working with Dragon Broadcasting all year long uh, to bring you about 120 sporting events. Most are live streamed on NFHS. For more information, head over to dragonbroadcasting.com. And for a subscription fee, where a portion of the proceeds go back to Dragon Broadcasting class to help fund the students' activities and purchase gear for the stu TV studio. But if you uh, sign up as a, a the subscription, you help you help out uh, Lake Orion uh, broadcasting students and get these games on the air. Shoulder to shoulder contact. Out of play. Where's the whistle? Still playing? There we go. Didn't hear the whistle. They just kind of waved it off. Goal kick coming. Great game. If you're looking to come out, uh, the Dragons on the 23rd of September will be uh, going against Rochester and then back home again on the October 3rd against Rochester Adams. Highlanders come into town. Always a solid, solid competitor in all, all phases. And Dragons have a nice rivalry with that school. Always a lot of fun. Dragon's going to get out of here uh, with a W, and let's take a look at the 
OA White. Lake Orion remains at top. Groves still hangs in at second place. Other competitors in the white, we have Royal Oak, West Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills, Rochester Hills, Stony Creek, and Auburn Hills, that's it. Dragons take the W and a hard fought win, four to one. Story was the second half, all that extra scoring. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.